Oh hey YouTube, how are you going? Today we're going to have a look at a dual tow gone wrong. This was filmed in England in 2018, so a little while ago now, and it's a great example of what not to do in a dual tow. This was performed by pilots who perhaps wrongly had never done a dual tow before. That inexperience was probably a key factor in this incident. Thanks to Alan for sending this in. For a completely commentary free version of the video, check out the link in the description below. So a dual tow is a way to get two gliders in the air at the same time with the same tow plane. So why would you want to do a dual tow? Typically we use it as a way to get two gliders and a tow plane from one site to another without having to ferry the uh, tow plane back and forwards twice which would cost more money. It's also just a slightly cheaper and more efficient way to launch two gliders although you do end up spending more time setting it up on the ground and laying out the gliders on the runway. So how does it work? Typically the two gliders are laid out on the ground. They are staggered both in distance from the tow plane with a short rope and a long rope, but also horizontally. So for the initial ground roll at least, both gliders are meant to be offset from each other, one on the left, one on the right, and the tow plane in the center. As you take off, the short rope higher tow plane moves into the center and gets off the ground and then the other tow plane can come over into the center and come underneath the higher tow plane and drop down into the low tow position. So we have one glider in the high tow position above the slipstream of the tow plane and then the second glider is below the slipstream of the tow plane. So in this clip you can see the upper glider get into the correct position centered and above the slipstream of the tow plane and the uh, lower glider doesn't move into the center and align with the tow plane and glider above. Instead it stays off to the right hand side. Now this can make towing a lot trickier because you're, you're constantly trying to be pulled back into the center by the rope and up so it requires quite a lot of control to keep it down in that bottom right hand corner and it's just not needed. You'd normally bring the, that glider over into the center. Why you did this? not quite sure it's probably just inexperience and not understanding where you're meant to be during the dual tow. So now the glider has gone so far forward that we've lost sight of the tow plane in the picture and the problem happens when it tries to get back I think they do a pull up to some extent it pulls up puts a lot of um, slows the glider down dramatically and then the rope suddenly pulls tight on the tow plane which pulls its tail down dramatically. Okay now here's a sequence all again but this time from the tug pilot's point of view. Flying in line means there's only vertical force trying to lift the nose of the glider up to some extent and no horizontal forces. So you're much better off being in line with the tow plane. The other issue with this tow, the lower glider starts edging forward and gets ahead somewhat of the tow rope and creates a big bow in the rope. Now this can be countered using a bit of side slip. That's when you turn the glider sideways to some extent, you're still traveling in the same direction, but the glider is creating more drag and it creates a bit of a buffer when the rope comes tight gives it a bit of spring so when the rope suddenly comes tight it's not so, such a violent thing and you won't break a weak link. So today's video is brought to you by PureTrack, our new tracking software I've been developing. Keep track of your gliders, your tow planes, and yourself, your trailer, whatever you want. If you want to track it, you can put it on the map and see where it is in amongst all the other aircraft. Then share your location with your friends and they can follow you live as you trek off on your adventures. Check it out at puretrack.io. You can see this oscillation happening where 
one glider gets a bit of slack in the rope and then the other one is tight and then the one that's slack suddenly goes tight and the other one goes loose and because they're offset out to the side each of them every time that happens the tow plane is flung left and right whereas if they were in line vertically it wouldn't be such a big deal if a glider gets too far out of position you can get so far out that the tow plane runs out of control inputs to counteract the rope pulling on the tail of the tow plane and that's what happens in this case so the lower glider gets too far out of position and drags the tail of the tow plane down and that lifts the nose up and at that point the tow pilot does exactly the right thing which is release the two gliders behind him so that he can safely recover the aircraft the upper glider releases as well and dives away out of the way which is exactly the right thing to do as well and there's the glider getting way out of position again you know it's just completely out of view the tow pilot should not be able to look down to the right there and see the glider like he is so I don't know this glider should have released he's well out of position should not still be on ended up wrapping around the wing of the glider underneath this is not great and it's lucky it didn't do any hit the canopy or do some damage with the tow rings there's metal on the end of the rope in the form of tow rings so you don't want to get hit by that in this case it looks like it wrapped around the wing fell off and then they managed to find the rope later by uh, tramping through farmers fields to go and get it so this particular launch was actually not a cross-country flight they were just doing a practice or learning how to do the dual tow and so they released over the airfield almost. So here's a clip in Omarama launching a dual tow and you can see the difference here both gliders get in line with the tow plane as soon as they can really and the upper glider stays in position and the lower glider stays lower waits for the tow plane and other glider to get up high enough and then he's in the low tow position and off they go on their dual toe. All right, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. We'll be happy to try and answer them. And any ideas for future videos, let us know below.